Welcome everyone to GamerMeld. Before I get started, a big congratulations to R3K on the GamerMeld Discord server for winning the t-shirt design contest. For more of his work, see his Instagram in the description. Also, if you want to get the t-shirt and help out the channel, I'm giving 25% off until the 10th, so pick yours up fast. That's linked in the description below. So AMD's second generation 32 core Threadripper is finally making its way to users on the 13th and at the nearly unbelievable price of $1,799. If you're new to CPUs, this may sound like a crazy price, but considering a 10-core CPU cost nearly the same just two years ago, it's definitely a great deal. Well, AMD hasn't stopped at a great price. The company actually just took the world record for Intel's own showcase made just a few months ago. You know, when they thought they'd beat AMD with two extra cores when the rumors pen Threadripper is a 26-core CPU, then they forgot? to tell us the CPU was running at 5 GHz due to the sub-freezing temperature cooler? Yeah, that one. Well, AMD's 32 core just beat it in Cinebench's multi-thread benchmark, making the 2990WX the new single-socket multi-thread champ. To do this, AMD got it up to 5.1 GHz on liquid nitrogen. Now, I will say that had Intel's CPU used liquid nitrogen, it may have had a similar score. But remember that Intel's CPU won't be anywhere near the price of AMD's. Currently, the chip that was shown off is believed to essentially be Intel's Xeon 8180, which is a $10,000 CPU. Yeah, let's hope Intel doesn't plan on selling it anywhere near that price, or they seriously are in trouble. Or maybe they already are, which leads me into today's next story. Things are beginning to look really bad for Intel, or should I say really good for AMD? Well, with AMD being Intel's only real competitor in the server and desktop CPU space, what's good for one is bad for the other and vice versa. So what am I talking about here? Well, there are a number of things happening right now that's hurting Intel. For one, the continued delay of their 10 nanometer transistor technology. What was originally planned for 2015 was pushed all the way back to the first quarter of next year, and then again to late next year. Basically, Intel is having some pretty serious trouble with their next generation tech, and they can only add so many pluses to their 14 nanometer node before it turns into a negative. That's how math works, right? Either way, the company is clearly having major issues, and this definitely isn't a good time, since AMD already plans to sample their 7 nanometer CPUs this year with the first epic 7 nanometer launch in 2019. Between that, the recent news from Mercury Research on AMD finally gaining some market share in the server space, and Barclays' lowered rating on Intel's shares leave the company with some serious work to be done. Don't get me wrong, Intel still holds the vast majority of server market share, and many servers are under contract, but if the company doesn't make a serious plan to overturn AMD's push, Intel may really be in trouble moving forward. Lastly, the infamous Z390 is seriously close. How do we know? Well. ASRock has given us all of their upcoming Z390 boards on their support page. As you can see, there's the Z390 Extreme 4, Z390 Pro 4, Z390 Tai Chi, Z390 Tai Chi Ultimate, and the Z390M Pro 4. We don't know too much else, but let's just say that Intel's 9th generation CPUs are so close, I can feel the heat. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for AMD or just want Threadripper? Let me know down in the comments below. Plus, don't forget to take 25% off your GamerMeld t-shirt. And as always, have a great day.